following program is intended for mature audiences. Welcome to the channel, man. Realest channel on YouTube. Yeah! About time. Damn. Not like I need you to actually work or anything. <clears throat> so listen, man. I was about to wrap it up for the night. And I got a comment probably like 10 minutes ago that sparked my interest. You got your screen, yeah? All right. George Lucas, dude. You commented on somebody else's video that sent me their rap shit to look it over and... I gotta be honest with you, my curiosity got the better of me, and I looked on your channel, and I see you got one video up, six accounts terminated on the seventh try, I don't know what that's all about, but now you're on my channel dude, so get ready. Because we're going to get into this, dude. Now, I want you to understand the end objective is to help you, not hurt you. With that being said, let's see what you got going on. We start off by saying I grew up on 203rd Street with real brothers so they don't fuck around and they were heard me speak Kicking a rhyme, spacking heat and demonstrating it on a beat Before anyone listened to MC Burberry or any other new age rapper who just jumps on a beat to curse me I grew up with real G's who were able to turn me Who taught me to kill anyone who hurts G Stamp on your dad and bash his head in with a Furby You were about to hear the real story, the third degree, you know Alright, here we go First things first, open your mouth when you talk, bro. Because when you're speaking... Holy Jesus. What is that? What the fuck is that? People need to understand what you're saying. Secondly, bro, you don't need to rap about bullshit, dude. Did you really grow up around gangsters or are you just trying to be cool right now? Because if you did... Putting a bunch of weed in a grinder is not going to do shit except get you nine views on YouTube, bro. I think it's about time people heard me. I idolize rappers because they are the same as me They came from the same elements Me the gutter, ground zero The game, the streets where everyone's neglected Hip-hop just keeps getting more aggressive Take it back to the DMC days and be more progressive If you know the difference between good and bad Then you will get the message I'm the godfather That's why I've got you stressing Just an amateur with a passion Coming in to teach you a lesson There's a problem, it's the lack of support When it's by the community I'm a rapper on a hit list And I'm wondering what they will do to me Too much music and too much TV I am not racist, it's not just a tune to me I think about it more than often Because I am a loony C All you fake rappers are just soon to see you know what they say If you wanna get away with murder Kill a rapper If I die then no one will know what happened And if I do die Alright so I gotta stop you again dude We already know KRS1 said If you wanna get away with murder Kill a rapper And you're talking about How the game has been Brought backwards By people that Mumbling bullshit from what I assume But you, what you're doing in this video right now Is just embracing that culture I mean I'm happy you know how to roll a, a sloppy joint At that dude But well, come on man You sound like you you can get somewhere with it But go somewhere with it bro Take me some please Show me some shit the police won't care, just one less rapper speaking the truth out there And if they do die, it's because I talk the shit and people fear me Police will know, but they will keep it as some sort of conspiracy About one of the underrated rappers who died I think about it all the time, another unsolved hip-hop mystery crime Going down in history, years, months, minutes and time Yeah Months, minutes and time You already know it was Orlando Anderson who killed Tupac But what about Camouflage Stretch, Bugs, Mac Dre, Big L, Big E, Jam Master J, Fat Pat Who did that? To you it might be a mystery, but to me it's just a conspiracy 
forgetting the blueprints You just wanna be a gangster like Supreme or Griffin Prince Don't be testing me, perception means a lot but don't insult my legacy Because I rhyme a lot, I got integrity but I don't wanna be Let to see me burning in a frying pot Money changes people but it won't change me Cause I've got forbearance, I always have, you'll see I'll be put on recording studios all over the block For homies you can spit in, demonstrate what they got Or to those who got shot I'll take the deals off the streets and I'll take them on tour Give them money for stuff that they wish they could afford I just want people to see the bigger picture Doesn't matter about the pounds or the money figure Doesn't matter if I say wigger, bigger, ligger Or the M1 So run to your solicitor Like I'm not gonna stop ya I'm not forbidding ya And I'm not kidding ya Cause we're all just playing a part in something much bigger Alright dude First of all it does matter It does matter what words come out of your face And all that's gonna do is get you beat the fuck up You try talking shit like that dude If nobody's gonna tell you I'm gonna tell you Now I'm hoping That you're gonna take this And you're gonna use it to your advantage because again I don't want to hurt you I want to help you but it matters what you say your voice has power and you should use it as it is a weapon okay so you're talking about how these rappers that got killed you believe it's a conspiracy a conspiracy for what I know what it is that you're talking about but for somebody that doesn't know what it is that you're talking about Elaborate it for them. And I can't stress that enough, dude. Open your mouth when you talk. Speak up, man. You got a voice and you are you sound like you're trying to find your flow a little bit. Which the fast, fast flow wasn't too bad. But I think you have to get comfortable with your own voice. Which I get it. Mine is not... I'm not pushing gold out of my throat. So believe me. I'm not any better than anybody else dude i'm right now i'm just a regular cat that just so happens to have a youtube channel that is slowly building up you could do exactly the same thing but you gotta you gotta brand early you gotta brand early especially when it comes to rap shit dude i've listened to rap basically my entire life so i've seen people come and go and the people were always the most honest and real with their shit are the ones that are going to make it. It's easy to want to fall into that. I'm going to be a gangster. Look, if that's really the way that you live, then that's the way that you live your life. But if that's not you, then don't portray something that you're not because you'll be called out on it. I know I said the same thing to the last guy. You don't need to do that. Look, don't don't follow what these other people are doing. A couple of these guys with their face tattoos and their syrup and all that bullshit lucked out and got signed by a record label for some fucking reason. I couldn't tell you why, but there's a million dumb motherfuckers out there that are buying those records. But the problem is, they're not going to be really remembered for anything. Because they're not really saying much. I mean, sure, they might have somewhat of a shelf life, but they're not going to be immortalized for the things that they're talking about. Like, look, you even mentioned Big L. How often when you have a conversation about Big L with a casual rap fan is Big L even brought up? Probably not as often as he should be. It's usually only Pac and Big. You don't hear about... Big L or Jam Master J or whoever else, Pimp C. I'm trying to think. Even Left Eye, dude, which you can argue that she was an R&B artist. But still, even though it wasn't met at the end of a gun, is still the point. I mean, come on, bro. Look, I want to see you. I want to see you succeed. I want to see you succeed, and I want to see you get somewhere. Even if you only do wind up pulling out twenty people, five hundred people, it doesn't matter. That's still that's still something. It still matters because somebody somewhere is going to like what it is that you're going to say. As long as there's passion behind it, and they know that what you're saying. That you believe in it yourself. 
and uh, you're speaking the truth. I'm sure you have a story. You come from some place. Let me hear about that. I don't want to just hear about another guy that's rapping about drugs and guns and smoking weed. No, that's all great. Is uh, If you like to smoke weed, that's fantastic. I enjoy weed too when I was able to at a previous point in my life. I don't smoke right now, but... That's not even the point. I'm getting completely off topic. Rolling a joint in a in a music video with a shaky camera is not going to get you anywhere, dude. Because people are going to look at that. And unfortunately, even with the channel that I'm running, people want me to step up the quality. That takes time. That takes money. I don't have a whole lot of that to go around. I mean, I have the time to put into it. I've spent the majority of the last few months putting this thing together and it still is working its way up off of the ground but if you're really serious about doing this dude put something behind it more than what just token rap is from what you've heard and seen throughout your life there's actually let me see if I can pull it up hold on see because there was a let's see if I can find it I'm looking for a specific interview that Immortal Technique did where he talked about rap and being who you are in your rap shit. And it's not only just because I like the dude. But it's he made sense with what he was saying. I'm going to try to see if I can. I don't know. I don't know if this is what it is. I'll pull it up for a second though. If Vlad doesn't pull it down. My name is Devlin Braswell. Also known as D Nice. Good for you, bro. Whoever you are, you're not paying my bills, so you can keep whatever it is you're selling, cause I'm not buying it, bro. How about that? I think uh for example, the J Lo thing is interesting because I've never heard somebody say that Fat Joe can't say that word. Right. You know? I never heard somebody say Big Pun can't say that word. Cause they said, yo, they grew up on some nigga shit. They they you know, B Big Pun had a song called that, nigga right. shit, you know what I mean? But it was like, like, uh, uh, rib tips and pork fried rice, and he started rap rapping about all this typical shit that people do. And, you know, I, I think that I've used that word to be, to have some camaraderie, and I've definitely used that word. Whatever, this is not it, I don't think. <clears throat> I will go back and dig through it and try to find it. And I will I will send it to you. But dude, if you're serious, if you're serious about doing this, bro, put some real shit together and get back to me cuz I want to see it. I will I have a small thing happening here, dude, but I will help you, but you need to help me help you first. So again, I'm not trying to shit on you even though it might come off that way. Just remember. I like turtles. It's that easy, bro. <laughs> Look, in all seriousness, I do. I want you to do well. And if nobody else is going to tell you, I'm going to tell you. Because if I was in your position, I would want somebody to tell me the same thing. So, <clears throat> forget the nonsense. Bullshit. And just go with it, dude. Whatever your thing is. And feel free to think that I should go fuck myself. If you don't want to take my advice, I understand. But understand I'm not trying to hurt you. Just trying to help you. And I'm sure maybe people in the comments will agree. As you can see from the other video, there was a couple of guys that were commenting on that. But in all seriousness, dude, if you want to do it, you should do it right. Don't mimic what you see. You got to make your own fucking path, bro. That's how people 
like Immortal Technique, or I would even argue uh, Mike Righteous, Akala, fucking Big L, Tupac, all these guys, Biggie, they did their shit their own specific way. They took bits and pieces from what they saw coming up, but Pac doesn't sound anything like Grandmaster Flash at all whatsoever. Grandmaster Flash didn't sound shit like the Sugar Hill Gang. You gotta take bits and pieces of it and figure out where it fits for you. But, I mean, I guess props on creativity in the sense that you're wearing a, 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 a teddy bear mask thing, dude. I wouldn't have expected that. But you gotta come with something better than just rolling joints, bro. That's not gonna get anybody's attention. Good luck. I'm fucking rooting for you, bro. When you get some new shit, come back to me. I'll fucking help you out. With that being said, I'll leave it there. Podcast number two is up on YouTube. Episode number three is up on SoundCloud, Spotify, iTunes, Radio Public, all that shit, dude. Go check it out. I'll catch you later.